Okay, fans and friends and everybody else out there. Sorry, I'm trying to do this from my phone. Uh, I'm going to do a little shooting with my baby. And we'll see if we can get it on target. As you can see, I have a little target-rich place right there. There's a metal plate. And that trailer is completely full of old wood that we don't even use anymore. Let's see, I'm gonna set this down here like this. Oh no, you can't see. There we go, now you can see it. You probably won't be able to see me because I don't only have this one camera. But you will hear the bang, bang, bang. Let's see here. Up too high. It's a good thing I brought this out here. Make sure you got your safety glasses on. Make sure you got your earplugs in. Safety's on. <laughs> Here we go again. Let's try this again. And she's hitting right on the money. Let's see, can I zoom that in? Oh, no. Hold on, y'all. I'll get this figured out one way or the other. Hmm. Let's see, where is something I can stick behind here to make it stay standing up? There we go. Oh, dang it. Okay. I think I got a couple more rounds in here. Let's put a couple more on there, shall we? And that's all she wrote with the Ruger 1022. Every shot counted, every shot, every sh bullet met its mark. Now, you got that part. It is completely empty. Oh, got to zoom back out. Yep. Everything right on the money. And I got this here shooting stand. It's got a little handle where you put your handle in there or your hand in there so you can hold it and not lose it. But uh yeah. Every shot hit exactly where I point it, put it. That's the good thing about getting your pistols or your rifle or whatever you're shooting with. Make sure you have it sighted in. You practice with said uh, equipment every single day. The more you practice, the better you become.
and uh, the way I see it is uh, you can never have too much practice. Since I'm over here with the chickadee doos, let's see if they got any eggs. Mm, no eggs. Wonderful. Ever since I let them start free range, and I bet you 10 to 1 they're laying their eggs someplace else instead of in the box where they're supposed to. I'm going to walk over here. Speak of chickies, there they are. Oh, by the way, that POS and that POS belongs to my son. I told him he needs to either get them fixed or get them out of here. Anyway, you can see this plate. I mean, every bullet hit their mark. That's what I was using before I got that piece of metal. And uh, you can see right down there, let's see if I can zoom in, where I'd missed a few rounds. But they went into uh, that trailer. They didn't go too far. Because you got to make sure where you're hitting at all times because you never know you could hit one of them guys. <laughs> but I want to walk over here and show you what I have in the pasture right next to me. If I can see any of them. And I'm not see. Oh, there they are, way over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Horses! I think there's three or four of them over there. I can't remember how many, but... Yeah, the guy that bought this property next door, he come out and... Built that little shed right where my finger there. And the first year that they had this property, they came out and uh, fished out here in that little pond that goes way over there, which overflows onto our property. And that's why that back two lots back there is stays basically like a humongous lake all year round. Because that's, that pond that he has is spring-fed. And it the overflow uh, has been blocked up or something. Uh, because it's not flowing the way it's supposed to. It flows over on our property. Instead of down the main flow that where it's supposed to go. But anyway... He's hardly ever out here, so, but still, you don't want to have any bullets get away from you and shoot a horse over there or uh, shoot cows over here on our property. That's a no-no. So, practice long, as long as you got shells, even if you don't have shells. You need to practice drawing your weapon. Uh, I don't recommend dry firing it a lot, but you need to practice your uh, drawing your weapon. And uh, getting it out of the holster is one way, but you also have to make sure you get on target every time so see practice makes perfect I missed that first shot but we're ready to go I know it went into that board because there's a brand new hole right there let's see where are they? right there but anyway I shut the nail out of the board, so that means I have to get a whole new nail put in there. Speaking of this, I'm going to go ahead and take it off because I'm going to repaint it. But y'all have a great day. 
God bless. And stay safe. Hashtag keep it country. Because that's all we can do. Support your Second Amendment wherever you might be. Support support all the amendments, actually. You know, freedom of speech, freedom to to write, uh, to have and bear arms, and all the good stuff. Because without freedom of speech and all the other freedoms that the people died to protect, we ain't nothing. We're just no more than a third world country. So, protect your rights. Have a gay, great day. God bless. Get her done.